Hey, it's Michelle Tam from Nom Nom Paleo. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my most popular recipes on the blog, it is my pressure cooker Mexican beef. And what's so great about it is it's super fast and super tasty because I put some secret ingredients in there that aren't quite Mexican, like fish sauce. I have to say there's no shame in buying pre-peeled garlic, especially if you use a lot. But let's start cooking. First you gotta turn on your Instant Pot and we're gonna turn on the saute function so that it heats up the cooking insert so you can start frying in here. You can use whatever cooking fat you like. I like ghee a lot because it has a high smoke point um, and it tastes great. So the ghee has melted in there. I'm gonna throw in the onion and the garlic. And you're not trying to like caramelize this. There's no reason to cook this for like 10, 15 minutes. You're just there to kind of soften the onions a little bit. Um, soften the garlic a little bit and that's it. So while the onions and garlic are cooking in your fat of choice, I've got my cubed chuck roast in here. And so I've got some chili powder and some salt and then I'm just gonna toss it with my hands. And tomato paste to the onions and garlic. And this way you have a base umami in your stew. And you cook it for about a minute as soon as you can kind of smell the tomato paste caramelizing. And you dump in your meat that's been seasoned. And to this, I add half a cup of bone broth or just chicken broth and some roasted tomato salsa. And then this is my secret ingredient, is the fish sauce, okay? Don't be afraid. The fish sauce won't make it fishy. It just adds deliciousness. And then you wanna stir everything around so that everything is well seasoned. I'm gonna cancel it so that it's not on the saute function. And then I'm gonna pressure cook it for 35 minutes. And then you lock the lid on. Make sure that the valve is on the ceiling position. And then you walk away. So for most stews, you want the pressure to come down naturally. So that's what I've done. I've like gone and taken my kids to school or you know, shuttled them around. And so this is already cooked and it's already come down by itself, the pressure, um, and it's just on keep warm. So I'm just gonna open it up. Look at it bubbling. And you can tell each piece is super tender. So now is your time when you should taste it for seasoning, adjust the salt if necessary, add a little more fish sauce if you think it needs it. And people ask me all the time what to serve this with. And so you can shred this and have this as a really delicious taco filling. You can put them in um, lettuce wraps. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. I mean, normally I just have this big pot of meat and then my, I serve it to my family with either a giant side salad or roasted vegetables. It's kind of whatever you want to do with it. The meat I'm taking out and I'm going to shred it because I'm going to be making lettuce tacos. And this stew freezes really well. And so you can always make it ahead, store it in your freezer, and you'll be thanking your past self for being so amazing. And there you have it, my pressure cooker Mexican beef. So you can have tacos any night of the week, not just Tuesdays.